So here's my cheapy Harbor Freight paint gun I got for 10 bucks. And filter and a regulator was probably another 10 bucks. But I had to get that at like a Home Depot. And anyway, what I did, so this is the paint. You can see that. That's the blue it's going to be. And this is approximately a half a gallon container that I had all cleaned out and dried up ready to go. What I did is I filled it up about to this line with paint. And then the rest is uh, lacquer thinner. I'm going to sh shake this up real good. And then I'm going to run it through the strainer into the gun. And then I'm going to go to my little test pattern here. Which I already did a little bit on with just uh, some of the lacquer thinner to clean out the gun. And it looks like it's spraying pretty close to where I need it. So hopefully that won't take too long to adjust the gun. And then I'm going to start painting. I think I'm going to start with this door. And see what happens. What are these stupid women saying anyway? Did you hear? Oh, whatever. It'll be blue really soon, so who cares? It's loaded and ready. Let's see. To adjust these spray patterns, I turn this knob, so it looked like it was pretty wide, so I want to maybe get it down a little. Yeah, it is pretty wide. is not too bad, but it's down a little bit more. That's about the way I want it. It don't look too bad. Alright. Well, I am going to start on the door. Let me see if I can get you in position. And here goes nothing. One big ass mistake or beautiful. Let's see. start you just want to give it a light missing get that paint just a little tacky on the surface sit for just a little bit. Little spot I missed there. It looks better already. But then you let that sit for a few minutes and paint it some more. So I'm going to put you on pause. Alright. Then you basically want to do that again. Lightly. It's a little heavier this time. You want to do this kind of slow. You don't want to get any runs. pretty good. So now I'm going to work on the hood. 
this is a real pain so I gotta get up on a ladder to do this should have grabbed the ray roll in really important you don't want to touch your surface with your hand because the oils from your skin will make a fish eye look so here goes nothing This is probably the hardest part of the whole job is doing this hood just because of the position it's in. It's a lot easier if you take it off. But I'm not going through all that trouble. nice flat surface like this I can put it on a little heavier without it running hopefully alright I'm going to stop there I do actually still have some pretty good amount of paint in there now I'm going to start on the other half of this hood. One nice thing about the oil base though is the stuff does kind of blow out. Remember, when you're doing the stuff that's vertical, you just want to give it a light, a light pack, so it doesn't run. When you're on a flat surface, it's really not going to run that easy, so. But on this stuff, dang it, there goes some of my teeth. Give it that little bit of a tack. Almost too much. And then I think I'm going to go to this door. So we can get this on the door. Relatively.
remember to keep that first coat light. Kind of hard to do. I just want to paint it. Be done. bigger garage. out of the top then here too and make sure that thing's pointed backwards which I thought it was but apparently it wasn't second cup full, it's about halfway, so I'm going to have to let that sit for a little bit, and I'm going to shoot it again with another coat. Okay, and there you pretty much have it. Ain't that a nice blue? I really like that. That's what I was going for instead of that the first time. Because this is more of the original color these trucks came in. One of the colors. And I really liked it because like I said, I knew somebody that had one of these back in the day. And it was a sharp looking truck. Ooh, what is that? Have to fix that. But, there you have it. That's how I paint a vehicle with Rust-Oleum. And as you can see, it looks pretty darn good, I think. Once it dries, this stuff will be really smooth like a regular car finish, almost.